medicine and cures in the Islamic world, in places like Cairo and Damascus and Baghdad and so on, where the advancements in science were constant. I was so delighted to be involved because this is such an important project. And I know as a historian that civilization never stops. We don't stop wanting to learn from one another, to share cultures and ideas. But there's become this kind of terrible notion, we talk about the Dark Ages as if nothing happened then, and it's a total nonsense. Welcome to our 1001 Invention Show. You are going to discover some amazing medical cures from my time. Cures that help save people's lives far away in the East. Are you ready to discover some of these amazing medical cures from the East? Um, I enjoyed it because I learned a lot of new stuff about the different subjects in science like chemistry, and biology and physics and I learned about new philosophers and astronomers and other people that have created new things. My favourite activity was getting to look at all like the digestive system. They made it look really like real poo. I really enjoyed the live show because I got to hear lots of music from other countries and learn about ways that they heal people. Did you say that there were yet further wonderful cures that we have not yet learned of? I brought them here so that they could see that scientists aren't just men in white coats and that a thousand years ago there were other people from other parts of the world that were contributing to science, and they can too. The, the show on the stage was really engaging for the children. It got them interested in it straight away. It's really nice for the children to learn about the history behind things that they know about today. It's a story that concerns all of us because it is our story. It allows us to rediscover our lost heritage, a forgotten heritage that we remember now again. I would really like it if we could organise an activity at our school just like this one.